Hey guys, good morning. Virtual is tough, huh? Um, I just wanted to say I went back and looked on Tuesday because uh, I was going back this morning looking through my emails and looking through uh, comments on Schoology and I see that the rounding rules t for part two did not get posted on, on Tuesday. And I tell you what's happening is when the videos, when there's an error or either whenever there is um, uh or if there's not a video there, what's happening is I make the assignments in Schoology and I make the videos at the same time. But I post my videos on YouTube so that they'll always be there and that you can go back and look at them and they never get deleted. And I post those on, on my YouTube channel too. I mean, it's just for us. It's not for YouTube, you know, anything like that. But um, I do that too because um, it, it's just easier. I can't explain how it's easier, but it's just easier for you and for me. But what's happening is if I post them, when I post them, it takes a really long time for it to process. And so my intentions are to go back after it's processing to post it. And then I don't always remember to do that. Uh, and so because I have brain fog, especially really bad right now um, with all with stress and stuff from, you know, and we all have it. So what I'm saying is, um, you know, nobody has been unkind, but I, I just wanted to say, just be patient with me on that part. Because see, if I go ahead and post it right away, it's going to give error message and saying that it's not approved or it's going to give some kind of error message. So it's kind of like, you know, Every time I attach something, there's always something wrong with it, pretty much. Um, that's how it works. So the best thing for me to do is not to post the video right away to the assignment and to go back. But like I said, if I get in a hurry or if I get sidetracked because I do have brain fog, severe brain fog, um, then I... It just, it just throws everybody off. So just know that this is part of virtual and it's part of, you know, it'll, it's the same when we're in the classroom, but especially right now here with virtual when I can't see you, it's horrible. It's really hard on Miss Carrie too. So um, I appreciate everybody being so kind and reaching out and saying, hey, this video didn't attach. Nobody has been unkind. Thank you so very much. I'm sure you've been frustrated and that's okay too. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that that was what was going on. I hate that that happened and that it keeps happening, but it's just part of virtual. So try to hang in there. Um, also, when and whenever we're going to start writing out our rules, because that's like our rules, not classroom rules, but for math and for language, because that's the only way that you're going to be able to remember. I, y'all, I learned this stuff years ago and it has stuck with me. And I'm going to tell you why, because I did a lot of practice and I did a lot of rules. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of writing the rules. That's why. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, the, the, all of the rules, you know, that we have in math and English, you're going to have to have those memorized and you'll be tested on those too. Seems tough right now. I know it does, but you can do it. You'll be fine. Life is tough. And so that's part of my job is to teach you how um, part of my job to me, the biggest part of my job is to teach you how to be independent. And when I say independent, I don't mean I don't ever want you to rely on anybody else. I mean, I want you to learn how to think for yourself. So that you don't have to go and say, Mama, how do I do this? Daddy, how do I do this? There are times when you're going to need to do that. Yes. But asking your mama and your daddy, you know, or Miss Carrie or whomever your teacher is, I just want you to be able to think in life for yourself and not to say, hey, is this the right thing? I don't know what to do. I don't want you to ever have to go to anybody else to feel self-assured. My job is to teach you not only the standards of math, science, social studies, in English and reading, but my job is to teach you how to function and in society and how to be a successful citizen and how to be a good person and values and morals. Those are more important to me than anything I could ever teach you out of a textbook. And another life lesson that I like to teach that I believe in and stress in every single day is hard work. See right now, I'm running out of time. I'm long-winded. Anyway, I love you. Everything that I do is to make you a better person. So be ready because we're about to work hard because we got to get caught up in math and we got to get caught up in, in reading when you get back. I love you and I cannot wait to see you next week. Mwah! Two, one.